there's a song in Please Don't Eat the Daisies, which is called Please Don't Eat the Daisies. And it is so addictive that I've sang it pretty much daily since I saw this film a few months ago. Quite a few months ago now. And it is an absolutely delightful film. This was released in 1960. It's directed by Charles Walters and written by Isabel Lennart, based on the essays, I believe, by Jean Kerr, which I haven't read. Maybe I will at some point if you've read them. Let me know. And as far as MGM films go, it's pretty great, but also, I'd say, pretty predictable. It's quite a cliche film. It's something we see time and time again. It focuses on this married couple, Kate and Lawrence, and they move to a, a lovely big house in the country with their children. And straight away, you can tell that there are strains in their relationship. Lawrence is... There are, there are suspicions that he's having an affair with a Broadway actress. Whether or not that's true, I'm not going to let you know. It's also not obvious to the audience immediately. So we're kind of following Doris Day's character, Kate, with her suspicions and her frustrations at her husband. She takes part in this dramatic society and she wants to obviously make something of herself and actually just have a life of her own instead of just doing everything her husband Larry wants her to do and then just puts up with everything but Kate decides to take things into her own hands and could potentially embarrass her husband who is a playwright and there's the idea that maybe she could use one of his plays for this dramatic society and not necessarily in the most positive light getting revenge on him because of this suspected affair it's a it, that, that aspect of it is quite unique but the whole husband and wife not getting on very well, suspicions in the marriage is, well, it's something we've seen a million times over, but it works well. If you like that format, I think it's a film that you'll really enjoy. Day works closely with a lot of children here, and she's just, I love seeing her on screen with children because she's gotten, she's always got this really warm, motherly presence, regardless of the character she plays. And the casting choice is just perfect absolutely perfect um doris day and david newman have a great on-screen chemistry and when the characters have a bad chemistry they still ooze beautiful chemistry and it works really well the costumes are really nice the song please don't eat the daisies is fabulously addictive and that scene when she's singing it with the little children it's just adorable and so sweet and basically epitomizes doris day it's a nice film it's predictable for the most part but what they do with this Dramatic Society production is maybe not as predictable as the rest of the film. So it has its moments where it'll keep you on your toes. But it's a pretty generic, slightly funny, warm, heartfelt, enjoyable, entertaining family film. I would recommend it. It's not my favourite Doris Day film. The song Please Don't Eat the Daisies without a doubt is one that is in my head forever. I like the film. If you're looking for a Doris Day film and you've never seen any of her work, I wouldn't say watch this one to begin with because it's not one of the finest. But the performance is still great and I would say at some point this is definitely a film you need to watch. <laughs>